Every now and again, a fund manager will outperform the market for a number of years and be hailed as a star. And that's when most investors pile in and then the fund manager starts to underperform. That's exactly what happened with the well-known British fund manager, Neil Woodford, whose flagship fund collapsed in June 2019. This was huge news. This was the biggest British business story of the summer. Um, I can remember at the time the FT, we did uh, five front pages in, in, in six days that week. It, it collapsed. Um, and it was just, it was one of those turning points, I think, for the British fund management industry where they really had to have a, a good look at themselves and think, are, are we serving the customers in their best interests? What can we do better? Uh, it was huge. As Owen Walker says, the Woodford collapse could have been a turning point for the fund management industry, but the star manager culture is still very much alive and well. So what are the lessons for investors to learn? Don't place your uh, entire life savings in the hands of an individual or actually maybe a, 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 um, a theme or topic, a very hot topic that people are trying to promote to you, such as, you know, investing in, uh, you know, in technology or, or, or something along those lines. It's really to kind of spread out. And, and if you want to invest in these sorts of things or you're attracted to a certain fund manager or a certain fund manager company, to do it in a very small portion of your overall portfolio. Another thing is to really focus on um, the liquidity. And, and liquidity is a, is a bit of a technical term, but it's just how quickly uh, a fund manager can, can trade, can, can sell and buy in the assets within its fund. Now, some of these funds, uh, they're very hard to sell. So if you pull your money out and other people pull their money out, it's going to be it's going to leave that fund in an awful lot of problems. Investors also need to be wary of fund recommendations. Neil Woodford was heavily promoted by several major platforms and brokers and by many journalists. When they're saying we recommend this fund or this fund is on our best buy list or this is fund is on a, a, a list that we would recommend you, you have, why are they saying it? Is it because it's very strong performance? It offers diversity, it's cheap, it offers good value for money. Or is there another reason? Are they benefiting from you investing that in, in some way? Remember, Neil Woodford was one of a long line of investment stars who fell to earth, and he won't be the last. Be very careful before entrusting your money to a high-profile fund manager. They can lose their stellar status very quickly.